Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Rojo and welcome back to Battletech. Last time, uh, pretty, uh, pretty easy mission. Got, uh, got some decent salvage, but I, uh, I'm not doing a very good job of, <laughs> of, uh, keeping these mechs I would like to salvage intact. Uh, so, uh, one of these days we might get ourselves a Jaeger mech. We'll see. <laughs> In the meantime, we need to finish, uh, or let our dragon get, uh, fixed up here. Here we go, book is back as well, which is quite nice. I think there's not really anything else we need to do right now. We just need to do this mission. And uh, actually, I should probably save because I'm picking up pretty much right where I left off last time. Um, Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this uh, appearances mission here. So, uh, contravening all decency and acceptable behavior on the battlefield, the Kaplan Confederation has been targeting our hospitals and medical supplies. We're seeking to redistribute our supplies to safer locations, but one convoy remains without a proper escort. That's where you come in. While Kaplan forces will be stretched thin, attempting to intercept all of our separate shipments, you can expect that this one will not go unnoticed. Rumor has it that the Federation sons have been smuggling restricted munitions in among their medical supplies. On the surface, at least, we're being tasked with a humanitarian escort mission. Negotiate. We will go for, uh, something, something like this that should give us enough money to hopefully repair any damages that we may uh, sustain on this mission, and will give us enough to, to float us to, uh, to the next story mission. I am going to switch up our mech configuration here. I Hunchback is, you know, it's all right, but I don't love it. Still, I'm gonna put myself back in the trebuchet. Uh, then we've got our Shadowhawk with Decker, and then with you, my friend. Half tempted to take this Vindicator actually, because it does have a pretty strong Alpha Strike. Uh, I think I might take the uh, the Centurion instead, though. Yeah, let's do that. And I think I might just uh, flip flip you guys, because you have a ton of weapons and you actually have multi-shots, so it seems like that might be a, uh, a better fit for you. And, uh, yeah, she can stay in the dragon. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try not to eat shit and die <laughs> as, we, uh, as we do this mission. Okay, here we go. Command interface initiated. All right, friendly units under fire. We've heard this story before. Move to their position, provide support. Have we? Is this like literally the same map as last time? <laughs> it might be. I don't know. I can't tell. Don't uh, quite recall. But anyway, we need to uh, go and capture that point there, and then I guess that's where the enemy probably is. We're about probably escort them up this road here, something like that. I guess it looks a little bit different. Yeah, and there's a landing pad up there that I just briefly saw. I believe. I believe I hear you. I'll have you go first because you're the fastest. Coordinates received. I guess it doesn't really matter. Should have contacts soon enough. But not yet. Um, all right. What can I do for you? Um, I'm thinking that maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I want to go up here. Can't really jump up there. I'm gonna be unstable if I do that, though. I think, uh,. Maybe I'll go up this way instead. There's some enemies. Oh joy. Not quite what I had in mind, but uh so be it. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's see if we can get a better look at uh what we are dealing with. Coordinates received. Oh, 
All right, you are a little teeny mech. A little, we've got ourselves a little scout force here or something. 35 tons, like a Jenner. And uh, other mechs like it. Surprise! What are you? You are a spider. Oh joy. Uh, I'm not going to... I'm tempted just to not even shoot him, because... <laughs> We're gonna do so little damage. I'll take the the laser off. We'll save our heat. Engaging target. We should be able to get a get a little bit done. Spiders ain't that tough. Structure exposed already. Not gonna knock him down. But uh, that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Ooh, there's another one over there too. What are you? I think you're the Jenner, right? Oh no, the Locust. My mistake. I think that there's gonna be a Jenner to be over there. There he is. <laughs> and it's a, uh, not even like the most dangerous model of Jenner, I don't think. Oh, no, I guess it is. It just didn't shoot all of its weapons for some reason. I hear you. Well, never mind, I guess. Ah, uh, Starman. What shall we have you do? I think. Let's... Go ahead and we'll pop you up here, I think. Taking the high road. And, uh... Should go ahead and go for the, uh, the spider, Don't even though it's braced. Alright, now, Decker... You, my friend... I think we'll go for probably this locust. Or maybe not. Yeah, go for the locust. Locking in all weapon systems. Oh yeah. That'll work. <laughs> Kinda just trying to get into melee range, really. Do something like that. We do need to be careful of the other one that's flanking around to the right, but uh, it's probably another light mech, so we probably don't need to worry too terribly much. Confirmed. All right, now the spider's coming. And it's running through geothermal for some reason. I think that's uh, maybe our first bit of, bit of damage. Alright. Alrighty, so what are we going to do here? The spider has so many evasion charges. <laughs> oh boy. Well... If we move, say, like this... Kind of don't want that Jenner to get behind me, but it might be able to. Let's see if we can finish up uh, this Locust here. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to shoot... Well... Yeah, I'm not even going to shoot the large laser at it. Engaging target. Much to my surprise, he did not die. Huh. And another spider. Reporting minimal damage. Big miss there. I don't know what the heck he's doing, other than dying real soon, <laughs> most likely. Ow. Do need to be careful of the Jenner. Jenner is dangerous. What can I do for you? Um. 
We'll jump you right down there. Or we could do a little something like this as well. I'm gonna overheat though. Um Still not close enough for the machine guns. Gotta gotta work on that. Um for now, we can definitely take that off. Take off one of these lasers, I guess. Maybe could have done a precision strike there. Now, Decker, my friend, you were going to go melee. Actually, well, that's right. You don't. You're not in the in a melee mech right now. Um, I'm still gonna have you do it. Roger. Oh yeah. That's looking pretty good. And we can get a nice view of the uh, the underworld here. <laughs> All right, looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish up this guy. Targeting for physical attack. Not too worried about salvaging another locust, honestly. I actually almost wonder if she gets bulwark out of that. No, I guess not. Systems holding. Okay. What's next? Now that this Jenner has been knocked down. Move over like this, maybe a little bit, and uh, could probably get a pretty good piece of it. Might be, might be able to take out the other leg. I kind of doubt it. Well, maybe. We'll see. We'll give it a shot. Or several shots, I guess. Okay. Starman. I do like the idea of you doing a melee attack here, if only to vent a little bit of heat here. That pilot's got to be almost done for. Looks like he's getting back up, though. Not getting far. <laughs> All right, Decker. What's up, boss? Let's have you. I almost wonder. Move you like that a little bit. Do, do the old precision strike on this man here. There we go. So there's, some, there's some decent salvage. I've been learning a little bit about the game, and apparently when you uh, when you leg a mech um, to get it out of the fight, you get two salvage. If you kill the pilot. Without, uh, I don't know if it's without blowing any parts of it off or uh, or what, but uh, when you kill the pilot, I think you're supposed to get three. And uh, when you uh, blow up the torso, well, <laughs> you get the one. Uh, I think I'm going to have you actually go after this spider. Location confirmed. 
Oh, jeez. We'll see about this other one. I'm not sure what I want to do. We just got shot in the leg there. I think... I definitely need to move up one way or the other. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll probably shoot this guy because uh, he doesn't have uh, as many chevrons on him. Miraculously not hitting my own guys. Oh, we're actually going to get two wounds on that guy, too. Big misses. All right. Uh, Starman. You can go ahead and finish cooling off. Very nice. Gotcha. And then Decker receiving you. Should be able to uh, get a pretty Got good piece that. of this uh, this other spider here. I think might even be able to kill him. Yeah, his center torso is almost done. We want to... I mean, we may as well precision strike, I guess. Engaging target. <laughs> yep, that's some precise shooting, all right. <laughs> Enemy down. Okay. So now that that's done, I'm guessing these guys are going to spawn in right here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I hear you. Receiving. This will get you... Moving up like that, we'll move you over like that, and move you up like that. Hopefully that should be sufficient to spawn in the, uh, the convoy here. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Okay, I'm receiving a transmission from the employer's convoy. You're secured, uh, you've secured the area around their position, and they are making their way towards the extraction point now. Keep them alive. Keep in mind that the convoy will stri try to stay near you for protection, etc., etc., there they are. Some little APCs. It's pretty well armored. All things considered. Quite well armored. Better armored than some of our mechs, actually. <laughs> this guy, not so much, though. We got you a swift wind. With a turret on it, but no actual weaponry. You are another one. All right, where are we headed exactly? All the way down the road. I think we can. Uh, I think we can swing that. Coordinates received. And uh, there we go. I'll put you over here, so you can keep up. Hopefully. I do wish they would, like, give me a turn <laughs> to get ahead of them in these, uh, in these convoy missions. Get a, a look at them a little bit. Since there's not really much else to do while we're waiting. Oh, you just knocked over your own telephone pole. How the... <laughs> <laughs> the hell did you do that for? All right. Uh, no, don't do that. Sprint you up like so. Sprint you up. Affirmative. 
Like so, and like so. Since you're a little bit on the slow side for a mission like this, but uh, shouldn't matter too much, I don't think. I guess on the upside, having them this far ahead does uh, give us some good spotters. Whoop, I don't know. Oh, I had my mouse at the top of the screen there. I was wondering what the hell was happening. <laughs> uh, so yeah, these guys are not going to survive if they get shot. At all. It's going to be real bad. We have no idea where the enemy uh, is going to be coming from. Maybe up just right ahead of us. But we may, uh, we may not get this bonus objective. We'll see. All right, sprint you up, sprint you up, sprint everybody up. It does help to stay on the road as well because we do move faster on roads. I assume they do, they do too. But they're almost there. They should be, should all be in there next, uh, this next turn, I think, or all of them but one. Hold this position, Commander. The package will be on its way soon. All right. What have we got? This could be uh, this could be a little bit rough, actually, depending on uh, how the initiative shakes out. This this man is gonna get shot. Ooh, but he's in there just barely. This one at least is is a decent truck. And then we got you, which is uh, also not particularly strong. Ooh, these are fast mechs, huh? And we're gonna lose the, I think the, the Varger APC. In the sense of uh, he's gonna peace out, I think. Uh, well, there's nothing, really nothing that I can do this turn, so I'm going to reserve. Maybe should have just put my mech out there. Ooh, a Kentaro. Holy shit. That's, uh... That's not quite what I was expecting to see. Standing by. Alright, uh... Yeah, I think it's time for us to... get on up here. Okay. We'll shoot you with all this stuff. Roger that. It'd be lovely if we could actually get a Kentaro, because uh, they are quite strong. If it's the same model that the Kamea has, at least. And a Shadowhawk. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, yours truly. Shall uh ooh, don't move there. Probably just go here. Not a lot of chevrons, but I think we should be okay. As long as that Kentaro never gets anywhere near us. <laughs> uh, yes, I will fire upon thee. Oh, big miss. Did get the unsteady, though. That's going to be uh, extremely helpful. And it looks like these guys might actually make it out. It's this last guy, 45 ton Vindicator. Okay. I hear you. So I definitely would like you to jump jet up there. And we're going to uh, we're gonna see if we can get a good piece of this uh, this Kentaro here. Medium laser LRMs. Left leg. Go for it. Time to die. Got the knockdown. That's extremely good. Now we need, like, a real lucky headshot. <laughs> Basically. Um, you can get up there and do a little bit. Probably didn't need to jump you, really. It's not... Not really going to help us out all that much. 
Um, headshot, if you please. Engaging. Good job. Objective secured. All right. Well, we did get the. Uh, to get that done, we could run away now if we want to, but I don't think we do. Not just yet. Okay. Let's see here. You're braced. I think I'm just gonna... Move myself like that. A little bit risky. With uh, only the one chevron, so in fact, I think I may... Go ahead and vigilance myself. And, uh, I don't know, we'll probably just have to be happy with capping the legs. On, uh, on this guy. What are you doing? Moonwalking? <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, uh, I think Waiting on you, Commander. probably want Starman to get right up in here. Moving to position. We'll see what we can do. Well, we can actually multi-target for once. We can take those off. We take one of those off as well. Question is, do we actually even want to multi-target? I suppose that we probably do. Even though we won't be able to call shot this guy. Do something like that. I think that looks pretty good to me. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. Ooh, we got a head hit. That's actually really good. And a little bit of. Machine gun plinkage there. <laughs> Woof. Got lucky there. All right, Decker. Waiting for orders. I think I'm just going to move you right up. I wonder if uh, we get this torso, if that'll uh, give us the kill. Yeah, well, Tango I'm not down. sure if that's going to lead to us getting three salvage, but uh, we did uh, manage to get the pilot without actually... Uh, Killing the mech. Oh, I can death from above this man. I don't think I'm going to do that. I am, however, going to shoot you, I think. And, uh... I don't know, I guess we'll just go for... We'll just go for legs. Acknowledged. Not really a whole lot of places I can move. I thought I'd be able to move up here more, but oh, but no, the, uh, the edge of the map is there. Well, that's fine. Let's still uh, get some good stability damage on the Shadowhawk right now. Did get the Unsteady, too. We can get a melee strike in there. We might be able to knock that guy down. Starman, can you get it done? Uh huh. Probably not. Well, I don't know. We'll see. 
Well, there goes an arm. Oh, yeah, we did get it. How about that? Very well. I don't mind that at all. I think I'll have you... Uh, I'll probably have you actually just... A little bit too close, I think, if uh, I put you there. Might need to jump you instead so that we stay at a more optimum range. I think I'm going to go for uh, for this guy. Affirmative. See if I can knock that PPC off of him. And then you... ...can come in hot and maybe knock him on his ass. Almost. So very close. Ooh, ow. How did you hit me in the head from, <laughs> from behind me? I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but, uh, so be it, I guess. And I think probably put you right there. We'll knock the, uh, the Vindicator over just to, uh, give us an extra turn here. And we can actually shoot the laser, too. Okay. Oh, and a little bit of return fire there, if you insist. I hear you. You will come over and uh, definitely melee this guy. This is gonna be good. Ooh, we missed. Oh no. Crit the AC5 though, so that's something. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Good to the go. rare melee miss. We haven't seen one of those in quite some time. Got it. All right. How about this? to start. Yes, As for you, I think we will just melee you. Putting my weight into it. This thing is holding up surprisingly well. Been very fortunate not to get nailed by that PPC. I don't. I don't even know if we've gotten hit once by it. All right, let's uh, come over this way. We'll see if we can knock down the Shadowhawk again. I have my doubts with uh, this setup here, but uh, we'll try. Engaging target. Didn't even realize that was going to be an indirect fire shot, but uh, all right. Did get another injury on the uh, the pilot, though. And I'm definitely not worried about his missiles. <laughs> Damage minimal. On you, All right. Um, yeah, just uh, let's go for it. Uh. 
Hey, how about that? Bang! You're dead. Not that I really want another 2H, but uh, we might be able to sell it. Ooh, ow. That didn't feel so good. Alright, Decker, what do you got? Something like that, maybe? And, uh, let's precision strike. Because why not? Right torso. And, uh, yeah. Kind of expected that to happen, but that's fine. All right, that's everybody. Mission successful. Not too bad, not too bad. Question is, do we get a Kentaro or do we not? And we got a little little extra money too, which is quite nice. And we are uh, gaining uh, gaining ranks here in the uh, the uh, mercenary review board, which is cool. So I guess we can eventually do harder missions at some point. And I think we lost a little bit of structure on the dragon. And she's only injured for 13 days, so that's actually not too bad either. She'll be ready to go but by the time we get uh, to the next mission. Oh, we are going to get a Kentaro. That's pretty sweet. Cannot complain about that. And uh, we're actually going to get a Shadowhawk, too. How about that? It's not too bad for uh, for a day's work, if I uh, do say so myself. Ooh, I do kind of want that, though. Hmm. Interesting. We kind of need the money more than anything else right now, though. So I'm thinking we'll just cross our fingers and hope that we get... The, uh, the SRM-6 uh, this time around. So we got uh, we got a Locust as well. I don't know if we have that model or not. We got a full Shadowhawk. Oh, but we didn't get the SRM-6. Not the good one anyway. That's okay. That mech you wanted is back online. All right, we already know about the the Shadowhawk 2H, I think. That neck you asked for is cleared for fighting. But then we've got the Kentaro 18. It's a beast of a machine. It's fast for its size, mounts heavy armor, can literally shred most other mechs with its almost ridiculous amount of close range weaponry. But it runs hotter than hell saunas. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. And uh, the 1M you turn out a decent volume of LRMs for such a small mech. It's a great harasser, especially if you can use its speed to lob missiles into the weaker rear armor targets. I think we've, uh, I think we read about that one. And we got some XP, of course. So now we need to decide what to do with our mechs, and I think that's going to be pretty easy. Uh, you will be sent to storage. And then we can just pop into the old uh, mech bay here. And go to storage and just see what we got. So we have a Locust 1V and we have two Locust 1Ms. Yeah, so we already had that model. Which is fine. And then we also have our brand new Kentaro. As well as another Shadowhawk 2H, which is probably just going to get sold at some point here. But uh, we'll take a look at this guy first. So this is all gonna have to change. <laughs> I have an SRM MO in the in the torso slots. Not exactly my my uh, idea of a good time, but uh, I suppose uh, I'll I'll have to tweak it on my own time. It's got a just a ton of missile potential, but uh, no no jump jets pre-installed. Interestingly enough, hmm. Well, that is interesting. Well, I, I suppose when we come back, uh, we will be going to the next uh, the next story mission, and uh, 
we'll actually have a, uh, I think a grasshopper ready to go. Uh, and possibly the Gintaro as well. We'll see how long, uh, how long it's going to take to refit uh, this guy. But yeah, I, uh, I'm really excited to use this grasshopper. I think it's going to be awesome.